Hey everyone, How's, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's doing good. So, I'm sick. Not COVID sick, thank God. I just have a cold, but I've been like better in, um, I've just been like coughing and sneezing. I literally like couldn't sleep last night because I was waking up just like hacking in my sleep. Um, so yeah, that's why I like don't have my makeup done, didn't do my hair. Um, yeah, I'm just been like really sick and because of being sick, it just like puts me in like a bad state of mind, you know? So after I do this video, I'm going to clean my house and it takes like a while for the videos to upload. So I figured, you know what? I was like, even though I don't feel my best, maybe I should just film a video and then that'll make me feel better. So I'm filming this video for you guys. Um, leave me below your bad girl questions. And if there's a question that you see, or if somebody's like, oh, I wanna see a video about this, like that, if you like that idea, like if you wanna see a video about that. So then I can just go to this video and see what videos you guys wanna see and the most liked ones and stuff, and then I'll do those videos. I know that everybody really wants me to talk about the cat situation, about how um, Cat left the bad girl's house. And I'm sure there's a lot of different rumors out there. The thing that you guys don't know is that Kat and I were really the only ones that really knew what happened. So the other girls I know have like told stories or have told stuff, but that's not really the whole story. Like nobody was there but me and Kat. So I've decided that because it's been 10 years, um, I'm going to tell the story. However, I am not going to tell it unless my subscribers go up to... So right now we're at 17,000. Um, if my subscribers go up to, let's say 30,000, if I get 30,000 subscribers, I will tell the story. And I know that that seems like, oh, maybe that's like a lot. But actually, when I post these bad girls videos, 90% of the people are not subscribed. So for all those people that are not subscribed, subscribe and I'll tell that story. So get me up to 30K and I'll tell that story. Um, yeah. So for today's bad girl related story, I'm going to tell you guys about the process. Actually, so I'm going to tell you about my first day of doing Bad Girls Club, and then I'm gonna tell you about the process of doing the um, the interviews that we would do like between the clips. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the air, a little hot. Okay, sorry. So my first day in the Bad Girl House went something like this. So um, a PA had actually like come and talked to me they checked me out of the hotel like pretty early in the morning and I still had my cell phone. So I was able, so I was like talking to my friend Allie. So I did my hair, I did my makeup, you know, got all dressed, got ready to do this. And I was picked up by a limo at some point. I don't even know how long, but then they literally made me like wait in the limo. In hindsight, it's because they saw what I looked like. They saw that I was dressed up. They wanted me to like, enter and make this big entrance to make this big entrance and the other girls you know be like oh who's this actually wait i gotta beep that out who's this b in the shiny dress that you know they um have coming in so they made me wait in this limo for hours like it could have been eight hours and i didn't eat anything in the morning because you know i was nervous and young so I was like oh you know I'm fine I'll eat later I didn't eat anything they didn't give me any water they didn't let me take bathroom breaks they literally just had me in a limo and then the limo driver like left the hotel and then parked somewhere and I was there for hours no food no water nothing so I'm sitting there and it was kind of like well what's gonna happen next like I didn't know what was gonna happen then finally so like my hair has fallen my makeup is awful. Like 
I was so tired and so hungry and so like, what's going on? So then finally they came and got me and some, they literally limo starts and it just goes. No one says anything to me. And then they stop, a camera guy gets in the car to film me. And I was like, excuse me, do you know if we're going to the house now? And the camera guy doesn't say anything because like the camera people are supposed to be like, they're not there. So I'm like, excuse me, are we going to the house? Like what's happening? Can't respond to me. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay. So then finally, after I asked this guy like 10 times, like he was like, oh, and this mic, somebody like, they stopped the car, somebody came in and they were like, oh yeah, we're going to the house right now. And I'm like, okay, thanks. So we drive there and then I'm sitting in the car, nobody's opening the door or anything. And then finally the, like the guy opens the door um, I believe it was the chauffeur. I can't really remember, but the door gets opened and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, do you want me to go in? Like, no, there was no direction. Like nobody told me anything. So I'm like, do you want me to go in? And so then eventually, so the camera guy is just standing there looking at me and I'm standing there looking at him and I'm like, am I going into the house now? Like no direction. So then finally the camera guy was like on his like mic and he's like, yeah, like go in. So I was like, okay, so I knocked. I was like, hello, like. Guys, I'm literally like so frustrated. Like nothing is going my way today. Um, my camera just stopped. It was like deleting all the footage. So um, this might not be like as long as a video as I thought because like nothing is going my way. So um, back to the story. So when I get to the house, the guy is like, da, da, da. so I finally like realize that they want me to go in. So I go in, everybody's mean to me, you know, as like was shown on the video. And then what you guys saw really was exactly what happened. Like I walked in the house, everybody was super mean to me for no reason. Like I had done nothing to these people, did not know them. I was so hungry, I was so dehydrated. I was like so angry because I had been waiting for so long. And then like when Erica came at me, I really was just like, I snapped, but I mean, I would have done that probably anyway. Um, like I'm just kind of like used to my whole life, people like testing me. So I would have done that regardless if she, if I wasn't as tired and all that. But the fact that that happened, like that kind of was a weird turning point, even though the show had just started they had told me later like the producers were like you know we think that erica would have been like very different if that hadn't happened because erica was kind of like the mean girl like they really had picked her as being this like really feisty mean girl and then because i did that it made it so erica like kind of stepped down and she never really did anything else the rest of the season as far as like acting up or like coming in anybody so it was definitely like a like a turning point even though it had just started also I wanted to tell you guys I have a bad girl club playlist so please go to the bad girl club playlist because there's a lot of videos on there and I'm sure you all would really like those videos and I probably talk about stuff that you want to hear about. Um, I have a really good story on there about Brandy and about how Brandy was banned from oxygen. So go check that out. Um, it's in the playlist, the background club playlist. And if you like skincare, there's a skincare one, there's a story time one, all that. All right. Um, so on to the interviews, how the interview would work out. So like we would live our lives and then three days a week, I believe it was either two or three days a week, we would do interviews. So they would do all day interviews so they would interview one of us for an hour then they'd interview another one for an hour and then another one for an hour and how they would do it is they would say oh do you remember when you and leah were walking and talking about how you didn't like christina um tell us about that but you know do it as in you're doing it so then it'd be like Leah and I don't like christina you know like they'd want you to do that and sometimes i feel like they would say stuff to us that was not true because they wanted to like make a storyline like the whole thing about how I never stole Brandy's wallet but they made me say that I stole Brandy's wallet it was like they you know it's a story so a lot of times I feel like and things you wouldn't remember you know like you wonder like how do they remember all that we really wouldn't like they'd be like oh you remember when you and Kaylee were talking about this and I was like no I don't remember that and they were like okay, well, you were talking about this and you said this and blah, blah, blah. Like, can you just say like how like you would have felt if you remembered that? 
so it was very weird um but that's how they would do it for us i don't know how they do it for like other reality shows um and i i honestly that whole process was very nerve-wracking because you they'd be like okay so you know tuesday is going to be you know the confessional day or whatever so you would have to do your hair do your makeup even if you didn't feel well even if you couldn't you know like you no matter what had to do that and it really sucked because there were times where like you emotionally weren't feeling well and they want you to relive things you know and that really sucked especially after i already left the house they had to have me come back and it was so like painful and weird coming back into that house and i could hear all the girls upstairs and then some people was like is that bitch here and they're like running around security's holding the back and i'm just like i don't even want to be here you know but you're contractually obligated to be there and to do these hey babe sorry my camera keeps dying and i'm just like so over it so i love you thank you for watching please subscribe and leave this video a like and comment about what videos you want to see in the future bye